Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Now, uh, today we're going to be looking at a band called We As Human, a band I have covered once before. I think it was sometime in December last year I covered them, when I covered a song Take The Bullets Away featuring Lacey Sturm of Flyleaf. Um, if I remember correctly, I actually quite enjoyed the track. Um, don't really need to go over much about the band before because I've covered them once. Um, but uh, just a quick reminder, they are a uh, Christian rock slash metal band from Idaho, I believe it was. And um, today we're going to be looking at a track called Let Me Drown. Now, as I said, the only time I've actually heard them before, they had Lacey Sturm as a featured artist. So I've never actually heard anything of them by themselves. Um, so this could be an interesting um, thing. Um, like I said, I think I enjoyed it last I'm pretty sure I enjoyed it last time, so um, we'll see where this goes. I have lyrics up here as I usually do. Um, well, once again, I should probably say I'm not entirely sure if the lyrics will be 100% accurate, because every now and then they're not. But, um, we'll see. So uh, let's just jump to it, shall we? So it's Let Me Drown by We As Human. Let's have a look. Everything turned to gold and then it fell apart It's the same old story, it's the same sad song Where did I go? It's a pretty catchy piece of music, you know, it's got a good got a good beat, got a good rhythm to it, but it does feel a little bit generic, shall we say. There's there's nothing really special or outstanding about the track. I mean it's pretty, it's still pretty decent, but there's nothing really outstanding about it. Um the actual track itself, I'm not entirely sure where it's going. Um Yeah, I'm really not sure where it's going. Um, the track came in, it said, uh, I now, s no, sorry, now I see, I can't see myself. I believed I was stronger than I felt. Everything turned to golden, then it fell apart. It's the same old story, it's the same sad song, where did I go wrong? So, that opening verse, it seemed like, you know, he, he thought everything was going better than it was. He thought, you know, he was doing better he thought he was stronger than he felt and you know for a while everything went really really well and then it all suddenly just started to crumble around him everything started to disintegrate and fall apart 
And, you know, he's, he says that it's the same old story. You know, this is something that happens all the time. You know, you get lulled into a false sense of security that life is going well or a relationship is going well or something of that kind. And then suddenly, you know, it, it turns sour and, you know, everything just disintegrates around you. And, you know, he's sitting there thinking, where did I go wrong? What did I do wrong? What happened to make everything fall apart this way? Uh, carries on lay me down in the waves let the water wash away and if I leave with the tide in the morning I will rise so lay me down don't lift me out let me drown so I think that, that bit seems to be you know sort of lay me down in the waves and let the water wash away now that might be you know lay me down and let it wash away all of the the bad stuff that's stuck to me you know it's kind of like a metaphor I suppose you know let, let the water wash away let it cleanse me you know take all the badness away and it says if the, if I leave with the tide in the morning I will rise so it's like if the water decides to take me with it you know if it considers me a bad thing I will return new clean you know and better possibly um, then it goes take a breath hold it in and sink beneath Feel the eyes of the living watching me. Lay me down in the water. Leave the past behind. There's a time to be born and a time to die, and somewhere they collide. Excuse me. Um. So again, he seems to be talking about you know. Well, there's a a line there. Take a breath, hold it in, and sink me. Feel the eye. Feel the eyes of the living watching me. That almost sounds like being baptised. And as I mentioned before, this is a, a Christian rock group. So there's that possibility. It says, lay me down in the water, leave the past behind. Again, it sounds like he's trying to wash away, you know, all the bad things that have happened. He wants them to go away. So he lays down in the water and he's hoping maybe they'll all get washed away. <laughs> I don't know. But there's a couple of lines there, and I actually kind of like this set of lines, despite how depressing they actually are. It says, there's a time to be born and a time to die, and somewhere they collide. You know, it's like everybody's born and everybody dies. So, you know, obviously those two elements are going to sort of interact at some point. Everybody lives, everybody dies, and at some point there is that point where your life turns and, you you know, you stop living and you turn into the process of slowly dying. So, I like the way it was worded, I think it was clever. And then it goes back into that chorus, lay me down in the waves, let the water wash away, and if I leave with the tide, in the morning I will rise. So lay me down, don't lift me out, let me drown. So yeah, I'm still not like fully clear on what the song means, but, you know, it's just, it's not terrible, it's not, it's not an outstanding track, but anyway, we'll carry on. See where this goes. In distant waters, let me drown, but I never walked alone. Let me drown if my heart should ever wander. Let the water lead me home. And there we go. Let me drown by we as human. 
Now, as I said before, the song itself is a little bit on the generic side. There's nothing really special about it. It sounds, well, pretty generic, you know. Musically, pretty good. Vocally, very well performed. But nothing really that stands out about the track. Um, now, the song carried on. I have walked in distant waters, let me drown. But I never walked alone, let me drown. If my heart should ever wander, let the water lead me home. So, you know, he's saying, I've walked in distant waters. So he's possibly saying, you know, I, I've, I've gone strange places. You know, I might have gone to really obscure places, but I was never alone when that happened. You know, I all, there was always someone I knew I could turn to. There was always a friend with me. There was always someone who cared. Um, you know, uh, if my heart should ever wander, let the water lead me home. So maybe that's sort of like saying, you know, if I ever ignore these people closest to me, or if I ever hurt these people that are closest to me, you know, let the water wash it all away and sort of let the tide take me back to where I should be with these people, possibly. Um, then it goes into a slight variation of the chorus. The, the actual vocalization of the chorus itself was different because it was sort of basically spoken um, for the first uh, four lines, and then the last two lines were sung. And the final line of the verse is actually not um, the chorus is actually not there. Um, it says, "Lay me down in the waves, let the water wash away, and if I leave with the tide in the morning, I will rise." And it's, then he sings, "So lay me down." Don't lift me out. And then it goes into the chorus again, which again is very slightly altered. It says, lay me down in the waves, let the water wash away. And if I leave with the tide in the morning, I will rise. So lay me down, don't lift me out. So lay me down, don't lift me out, let me drown. So, you know, they, they repeated two of the lines in that one. And they once again had the line, let me drown on there. So... Like I said, I'm still not 100% clear on what the actual meaning of this song is. It seems to be, you know, something to do with, you know, you know, realising that his life's falling apart, but knowing that there's still people there that care about him, and if he, you know, that he should can't turn his back on people, you know, because they will always be there, and if he does turn his back on people you should just let him drown because that is not the sort of person he wants to be. I don't know. I'm not 100% clear. Um, like, like I said, pretty generic song. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't brilliant, but, you know, it wasn't bad. You know, it's a pretty catchy, upbeat piece of music. There was just nothing really special about it, you know. So, you know, it, it, it wasn't terrible. You know, I'd quite happily listen to it, but I don't know if it's something I'd actually go out of my way to seek to listen to that, but that, again that's just my personal opinion you know I know there are people who absolutely love this band and all fairness to them you know but for me you know it was good but not something I'd actively seek out I do have other uh, tracks by Weir's Human to check out so you know we shall see what happens when we come across those ones but for the time being I think I'm going to leave that as it is <laughs> Um, if anybody would like to suggest a track for me to react to, then please do so by all means. You can drop a comment in the comment section below or message me on my Facebook or my Instagram, or you could even message me through my Patreon, where you could also help to support this channel, um, help me create future content, um, maybe improve the um, quality of future content. Um, do know, though, if you do make a suggestion, it might take me a little while to get around to it since. I get suggested so many tracks every single day that you know my my list grows faster than I can um, record the videos. Um, but I do write down every suggestion I get, so it will get done eventually. It's just going to take me a while to get around to it, but it will get done eventually. 
Right. Um, also, Metalhead Reacts is a proud supporter of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, a British-based charity whose main goal is to put an end to hate crimes, more specifically hate crimes aimed towards people of the alternative culture. And it's something that I very strongly believe in, something I think really needs more recognition because, you know, all around the world, people every single day are getting physically and verbally abused and violently attacked just because they listen to alternative music or wear alternative fashion. And you know, every day we hear about all these other hate crimes going on around the world, like hate and racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, you know, we hear about all these things every single day. But these attacks, these violent attacks against people of the alternative culture aren't getting you know, they're not getting the recognition they deserve. Because people are getting severely hurt. People are getting sometimes hospitalised just because they listen to alternative music. And it's unacceptable that this is carrying on, and it's very much unacceptable that it's not getting the coverage it needs. You know, several years ago, the Sophie Lancaster uh, tragedy was all over the news. You know, this young girl and her boyfriend, they're about 20, 21 at the time, Walking home, minding their own business, was set upon by a group of teenage, uh, you know, a group of kids, teenagers, whatever, five or six of them, who violently beat and attacked Sophie and her boyfriend, Rob Maltby. They, they violently, violently attacked them, kicking them, punching them, stamping on their heads, for no other reason than the fact that they listened to alternative music and were wearing alternative clothing. That's the only reason for it. Six people against two. And they were beaten so severely that they were, both of them went into a coma. Rob Maltby was in a coma for a matter of days, thankfully. Uh, so I think it was maybe a week or so. He, he came back out of his uh, coma. But Sophie Lancaster never did. She was in a coma for 13 days before she died. She was kicked so severely that she died from her injuries. And it's unacceptable that this happened. But it happens. It happens every single day. And I can guarantee you, since Sophie Lancaster got attacked, several more people of the alternative community have been violently attacked just because of their choice in music and clothing. But it doesn't get the coverage. It do, you know, people don't care about it. And, but it needs to be addressed because it is happening every day all over the world and people are getting really badly hurt you know a guy hits a woman this gets you know th this gets attention this gets publicized somebody gets arrested someone gets into trouble somebody beats up a goth or a metalhead you know to the point of putting them in hospital nothing happens nobody pays it any attention and this needs to change. And this is what Sophie Lancaster Foundation is all about. They want to put a stop to this happening. They want to bring more attention to this so something gets done to stop it. You know, they don't want to see another family go through what they went through when they had to watch their daughter slowly die over the course of two weeks. It's unacceptable. Oh. If you'd like to find out more about the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, there is a link to their website in the description below. You can go over there, uh, find out what they're working on at the moment, you know, find out what their uh, goal is, because they can explain it a lot better than I can. And, you know, if you can help them out in any way, a small donation um, on their website, or even something as simple as one of these Sophie wristband, which are like a pound on their web store, you know, they've got a whole bunch of other merchandise. But if you can help them out in any way, the smallest amount can make the biggest difference. And the sooner we bring more attention to this, the sooner we can help to stamp out prejudice, hatred, and intolerance everywhere. But, I'm going to leave that as it is for the time being. Thank you all very, very much for watching. See you again soon.